welcome to All About. Today we're going to talk about YG95. It's a green that I don't reach for very often, but it's uh, perfect for fall colors. Uh, it's not going to be one of your YG06, YG05 that are like super happy kind of colors, uh, but for fall and actually for butterflies, I check um, photo references every week for those butterflies you see in the graphics that we post in Facebook and Pinterest and Instagram. Uh, and this is the one for this week. As you can see, I use the green and then I use, I, I see that they have a lot of black, but I try not to use a lot of black. And this is BV29. And I think it's beautiful. I love this combination. Um, and the other thing is that we're gonna talk about this week, I mean, that we're gonna start this week. Um, Michelle Houghton from Copic in the Craft Room is going to be drawing butterflies for us every single week. And she's gonna have them in her digital store. I will put a link in the description box so you can go and check it out. And you can see her classes. She has been a Copic class um, teacher for a very, very long time. She actually is the founder and the one that handles the, everything at uh, Copic Book Bootcamp. Um, and yes, it took me a long time to pronounce her last name and the name and her website. So, sorry. Anyway. Uh, you, last week I did color one of her butterflies and here it is. She is going to have the line drawing and the, this um, already color butterfly. So if you want to use just this butterfly, just print it, that's it. You can use it. And this one is, should be in the store already, uh, but I'm gonna link you in the description box. I'm Elena with violetainc.com and we sell Copic markers, nib replacements, refills, the Copic refills, and Prismacolor pencils. Thank you. We're gonna start with YG95 and I'm flicking away from the edge. On top of it, we are using YG93 and then we're gonna go with YG91. We are going to be underpainting with B41. Underpainting is going to desaturate the first, the, the darkest color that you're using in your combination, which in this case is YG95. And then we're going to go on top of it with YG93. Now make sure that YG95 covers all of B41. And then we're going to finish this blend with YG91. Because of the colorless blender YG91 has, it's, I don't know, I wouldn't even call it a green. It's more like a brown. So this is the bonus combination. We started with B41. On top of it, it's going to go with YG95. We're going to make this a little bit more happy. <laughs> and it's YG25. I'm swishing a little bit so I can get a good blend. And we're going to finish with YG23. We put in enough ink so... The chemical reaction happens and you get an amazing blend. Now we're gonna do the Prismacolor pencil match. I did not find a exact color. Well, this is the staining test. And when you use um, the colorless blender, I felt like it made it a little bit blue. So I, I did not like that part. This is PC 1094. Is sandbar brown. It is a brown. Well, maybe that's why YG91 is kind of brownish. Anyway, I'm using that one. And then on top of it, I'm using lime peel. I wanted to see how this 
such a bright <laughs> and beautiful lime peel that I use all the time would blend with sandbar brown. It's a good match, but I think that is you, it's, you can see a lot of the uh, wax building already. Now we're going to do the other way. We're going to start with lime peel and we're going to finish it with sandbar brown. Which now, if you see it, it doesn't even look that brown when you put it down. It looks a lot like YG95. Now, when you color, when you color with pencils, the color your eyes see is going to be the one on top of all the layers. So that is why you saw me at the end of the right um, swatching to put more lime peel. So when you look at this, it looks like green, not brown. This is the natural family combination, not underpainted. We started with YG95. Now a little bit slower, YG93. And then a little bit more slower. <laughs> the slowest is going to be YG91. I'm always afraid that I'm going to go over the butterfly wings. So I try not to go all the way there. And then I just kind of back blend from the opposite side. This is a beautiful blend. These three blend very beautifully. Now we're going to underpaint with B41. Remember, we underpaint wherever you think that we will have shade or shadow. Now this is YG91 on top of B41. Then YG93. And YG91. Now for the bonus combination, remember it's going to look very different. It's going to look very happy. This is YG95. It kind of looks like the plant is barely maturing at the end, but it's really ready in the beginning. This is YG25. Very, very bright. It has a lot of yellow. And this is YG23. It looks fluorescent to me sometimes, especially YG21. That is like really, really fluorescent. Huh, maybe we should do an all about with the fluorescent colors. I have all of them. Okay, if you would like a all about about the fluorescent colors soon, let me know which one in the description box. Now we're going on top of it with YG95. The first one you saw there, it was B41. This is YG25 and YG23. This is the combination I use for the butterfly that Michelle Houghton is going to have in uh, her digital store. So this is all about YG95. The natural family combination is YG95, YG93, and YG91. Underpainting would be 41. And the bonus combination is YG95, YG25, and YG23. Thank you, and I will see you next week. Bye.